this is actually sort of a view of, of these are the noble apes moving along in the landscapes and interacting. And then this is the actual neural net brain structure that's going on as this particular ape here is moving around and detecting its environment. And well, this, this is done by Tom Barbelay, who also runs the Biota podcast and the website. Oh. Yeah. Very good podcast. The Friday night thing, right? Yeah, and there's a live, on Friday nights there's a live call-in show. Friday nights and Saturday morning is really good. It's really good. And there's a call-in show that's recorded. You just phone in and it's recorded for real time. And if you're the only one who calls in, you get interviewed for the whole time. No, that's right. happened to you, dude. <laughs> so find all of Tom Tom's work at biota.org. But this this system, and this system's a real pathfinder, even though it's, it's sort of mid-90s graphics. It's a tremendous pathfinder for several reasons that Intel and uh, Apple both uses it, use it to test their microprocessor architectures. What? So there's versions of Noble 8 running on vast multi-core processor die things at Intel mm -hmm. because it took, it's so th well threaded that it just uses up, it'll drive all the, the CPUs. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's an industrial, it's become an industrial application. So yeah. meaning you, you just make a bigger world with more Bigger apes. world with more apes and they will use up and, and, and there's a lot of statistical output so it, they can characterize the performance mm. and the threading mm. and everything. So really just tremendous. So what's each dot left out there on the... That's sort of the ape brain. That's so the, what does it mean? That I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I've got to read, the, there's the Noble Ape book. If you if you email Tom, he'll send you the book. It's this funny little white book. It's about Noble Eight, and it has everything. And I really have to read it and really understand. But I I think this is like the cross the crossbar in the neural net in in the brains. Actually, um, Tom wrote me to say that it's not a neural net. It's not it's, a neural. It's often characterized as one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he didn't say what it was. <laughs> it's a it's a cube Ooh. of some kind. It's yeah. a cube that it's well, characterizes yeah. a three dimensional. So it's basically yeah. what the, the one of the ape senses. Yeah, and I think there's, there's a way to get at another ape somehow. But I, I can you pause the, the thing? Um, well, I wish I was. I wish Tom was here. This is like are up. Windows 95 or something. Well, it's it's just as as with many of these simulations, it's focused on on just no. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Pause, there we go. The next day. Oh. Okay. Now the control. Oh, oh, so oh, now can we switch apes? Switch apes? Here's the here's the cube. Let's cool. yeah, let's see yeah, yeah, under control. Next eight. Yeah. Okay, Next there eight. we go. Yeah. Doing anything? Yeah. Okay, now we can resume. I wonder what those light maps are. Boot. And this is like Second Life's Islands. <laughs> looks like yeah. archipelago of land. So nobleape uh, dot com, and if you want to reach Tom, he's Tom at NobleApe.com. And you can get a t-shirt. There's actual Noble Ape t-shirts that are very cool. T-shirt.